Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar and this is another episode from the Amazon review series. Got another package in today and uh, as you can see, not real big, but uh, not sure if you can quite read that, but this is uh, a, uh, well, a bicycle brake light and uh, obviously you would know that from inside the uh, title. But, uh, let's go ahead and finish opening this up and see what it is. All right, guys, so here we go. We've got the box here so you can kind of see what it looks like. Uh, T-shaped tail light, um, as you can see, obviously T-shaped. Uh, it has USB charging. Um, the uh, headlight lamp beads. Okay, I'm not sure exactly what that means, but ambient light sensor, so it should let you know or let it know uh, whether it's day or night, so it'll adjust the brightness maybe. Uh, brake induction, which means when you actually hit the brakes, uh, just like uh, on your phone when you rotate it and everything, it has those sensors in it. It's going to let it know that it uh, it is stopping, so it'll light up that, uh, that stoplight um, capability there. And then you've got the high-grade waterproof. Obviously, it needs to be waterproof if it's going to be on a bike. And then we've got a 1400 milliamp battery that's on it. Just to let you know, this is by Vastfire. Of course, I've done stuff, uh, their stuff before. And um, I do enjoy getting Vastfire products because their lights and everything have been very good quality. Uh, in the past for me, I have not had any issues. And the more I get their stuff and the newer stuff that I get, the better it is. All right, well, here we go. Here's everything that was in the box. We've got, uh, of course, the instructions here, and uh, looks like they're in, well, looks like they're in Mandarin on that side and English on the other side, so probably want to fold it in the reverse for those of us who don't understand uh, Mandarin there. So there we go, uh, and it just shows you that information. It gives you a little bit of information about the parts and stuff, the operating instructions, uh, and then it gives you some of the basic parameters, the uh, like what it's capable of and whatnot. Uh, now it does come with uh, a couple of zip ties here. We've got a couple of uh, little O-rings here, and then we have a flat uh, USB-A to micro USB uh, connector there so it's a flat cable looks like it's probably going to be about three feet long or something like that uh, so nice and long to be able to charge it and then of course the unit itself the unit itself isn't too big i for some reason was thinking it was going to be a lot bigger uh, so fits right in the palm of my hand you've got the lights that are going to go across there and the lights that are there Let's see if it has a charge maybe there we go all right and there, brake light kicks on. Flashing. Okay, and it says it has multiple abilities there. There's just that little light there. And, oh, okay. So it shows that it's pretty low on power, I'm guessing, is what that means. So, uh, definitely is going to need charge. Now, as you can see right here, this is going to fit on the tube. Now, what they uh, show on the site is that this is going to be basically underneath your seat and uh, so you're going to attach it that way looks like it's going to be these little rubber clips here or rubber rings you take those and put those on and then uh, maybe you take the zip tie and pull it tight um, i'm sure that the instructions here kind of give you a better idea on how to cinch that down oh yeah there we go it looks like it's got a little feed through right here so maybe the little zip tie feeds in right there. There we go. So there you go. You've got the, how it feeds through with the zip tie. And then you've got the links right there as well. I um, wonder if that's this section here for the zip tie as well. Kind of looks like it. Looks like a zip tie can go up here at the top because it has the openings on either side. And it seems to slide in and curl around. So you can use the zip ties there, or you can use maybe the rubber O-rings, uh, depending on how you want to put it on. Um, if you're going to put it on, make sure that it's going to be permanent. The zip ties are going to be great. If you think you might be taking it off or anything like that, then obviously the, the little O-rings are going to be better. 
Um, let's see, where does it plug in? Okay, it plugs in down here at the bottom. So there's your little connection there at the bottom. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and get this charged up first. And then I'll go ahead and uh, put this on the bike and we'll take a look, see what it kind of looks like when the bike is moving, when it stops, that kind of thing. So it gives it kind of more of a realistic um, kind of effect for testing it out. Now, obviously, also, if you guys want to check this out, you can go down there in the description below. Uh, there will be, of course, a link to this on the Amazon site. And don't forget to check out the social media while you're down there. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to hit uh, that subscribe button if you haven't done so already, as well as that bell icon so you know when I've got new videos coming out here on World of Me. All right, guys. Well, uh, that'll do it for me today. My name's Cougar. This is The World of Me, another episode from the Amazon Review Series. I would like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.